Taking part in a Market Dojo event is a quick and easy process. Here we'll show you how to answer questions from your host and participate in a reverse ranked auction. When you are invited to an event, you can either click on the link within the email to accept the invitation, or you can visit your event section on your Market Dojo dashboard. For this video, we'll visit the events tab. Once you've selected and accepted your invite, you will be taken to the event overview. It is extremely important that you read the information here fully, as this is provided by the host of the event and contains the brief and all important dates. After reading this tab, you should work through the event from left to right. If your sourcing event includes questions from the host, they will appear first after the overview tab. All questionnaires that need to be completed will have a small red cross next to them. Please ensure that you have answered all the questions within the questionnaire before continuing, as this may affect the outcome of any auction. Once you've completed your questionnaire, please click Submit. You will know your questionnaire has been submitted successfully, as a green tick will now show next to the questionnaire's name. When all questions have been answered, you will move on to the Quoll Bids tab. Here you will input your initial pricing in advance of the auction. To provide your initial quote, click on Place Bid, add the amount, and then click on Submit. Sometimes your bid may not meet the qualification price set by the host. In this case, a message will appear to give you an indication of how far out you are. Once you are below this figure, you will be able to place your bid. The qual bids you add here will be your starting bids within the auction. If you are unable to take part in the live auction, we suggest adding your best price here just in case, as this could still see you win the auction. Once the auction has started, your rankings will give you a clear idea of how well you are doing. A 1 next to the lot indicates that you are the lead bidder. A 2 means you are in second place, and so on. Throughout the auction, your ranks will change as you and the other participants place your bid. All bids that you place will need to fit within the minimum and maximum bid changes, which are set by the host. If you try to bid outside this band, you will see a message in red, which will give you an indication of what bids will be accepted. To check the minimum and maximum bid changes relating to your event, just go to the overview page. If at any point you place a bid in error, you should contact the host directly for them to remove it. Many Market Dojo auctions will include a dynamic close period. This means that if any bids are placed within the last few minutes of the auction, the remaining time will be extended. This is to give all participants a chance to amend their bid if they wish, so you don't need to worry about being outbid in the last second. For example, if an event includes a two minute dynamic close period, then if a bid is placed within the last two minutes of the auction, the time will go back up to two minutes and will continue doing so until no more bids are made. Please be aware that it is possible for the host to add, remove or amend the dynamic close period during the live auction. So we recommend that you keep a close eye on the live feed messages to ensure you spot alerts on this or any other changes to the event. And that's how to take part in a Market Dojo event. Throughout the process, remember that you can contact your host with questions on the tender through the messages tab here. You can download documents relating to the event here, or contact our support team with any technical questions here.